Hey, tubes. This is another one. Uh, I was just happened to pull up Facebook Marketplace and I uh, found a, a free posting. And it wasn't terribly far away. Maybe a 24 minute drive. But um, here's this is a Craftsman 159 cc's. Apparently it's an overhead choke. This is this looks like a Chinese engine, a Chinese copy of like a Kohler. And the reason why they said why you were getting rid of it, it runs for about 10 minutes and then stops. So, and it's full of gas. So what that could be is one that the gas cap is inventing, is what I think it's probably gonna be, or it could be a coil, or maybe a, a spark plug shorten out or something like that. I'll, uh, runs for about 10 minutes and stops. What that's indicative of is the gas cap is inventing properly. I have already disassembled this gas cap, cleaned it, and put it back together. Uh, now I'm gonna, just gonna do a kind of a test for this. is pretty simple how you do it. Donnie Boy 73 had a video on this. Um, he's a great small engine channel. Uh, you basically uh, disconnect the fuel line and into a or a, and and let it go into another container and see if it stops mid halfway through. So you're simulating what the lawnmower is doing, because you need air to come in behind the gas to replace the gas as it flows through. Because then you it will get a vacuum and it won't. This will not be able to bring any more gas in since it's gravity. Um, so gravity. Uh, Gravity flow, excuse me. So, let me uh, get the test uh, out. What I'm gonna do is I got this uh, extra piece of hose here. I'm gonna stick this on and have it drain into this whole Folgers container uh, just by doing uh, that. And uh, I'm gonna first disconnect that. Hopefully, not any gas will come out uh, right away since I got this tilted. And then I can just let it drain, uh, let it drain until it, uh, and until it stops and if it stops and it's still got the gas in it then i know it's the gas cap if it drains the whole thing then it's something else or maybe when i clean the gas cap uh that helped it out what i've done i've disconnected the fuel line and i've added this uh, this uh, extra fuel line i had now i'm gonna i had to tip it over on its side because the gas tank is full so i'm gonna tip it back over and i'm going to um let it drain into that Folgers cup. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Let me uh, get my uh, redneck uh, uh, jack stand. Yeah. Makeshift jack stand, the uh, block of wood. Now let's uh, see about draining this into this can. Okay, it's not a lot because it's tipped over, it's on its side. So let's uh, take it off the stand and I'll, I'll cut back in. Here, hang on, let me, uh, let me put you on the, my uh, camera stand. Just a few drops coming out. Let me see if I can get you down there. Just a few drops are coming out, and I know that's not enough. So I'm gonna disconnect the. Uh, I'm gonna open it. Open up the fuel cap. and see what happens. As soon as I open up the fuel cap. A lot more gas started coming out. See, put the fuel cap back on. Nothing. Very interesting. Let me go. Uh, this is one of these. Uh, sorry, this is one of those Craftsman engines that's a chi from China. Uh, uh, this is it's a Honda clone, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Uh, I have got a another cap that may or may not fit. It's a Briggs cap. It's brand new. 
me see how that okay, goes. What I got here is I got a brand new cap. Let me see here. That I got a clearance for a dollar. Um, this is for a Briggs Quantum. Uh, it may or may not fit this 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 engine here. So let's see. I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna just uh, switch caps. I switch caps to that Briggs cap. It's brand new, and it's flowing real good. So that was that's the problem. I'm gonna. Uh, if your mower runs for about 10 minutes and quits, you've got plenty of fuel, check your gas cap. I have many parts for this kind of thing. I'll just, you know, I'll change the oil, see how this air, air, air ooh, brand new air filter. Let's uh, give this a start and let's see what happens. This is one of those Craftsman My Stride, which is kind of like the personal pace. The uh, the more you uh, you do this, the more you push this, the faster it goes. Sounded like it was running on choke. So let me go look at this. Anything like a Honda. These are going to be 10 mil. What do we got here? Heat thing here. Let's take a look and see uh, see if it's actually operating over here on this side. I got this uh, well, take it apart. It's just this is just like a Kohler or a Honda. Uh, so this is it's more like a Kohler to me. This is your uh, auto choke here. It seems to be. Uh, I did spray it down with some carb spray. If it was a, you know, if it was stuck or something. So yeah. Little, little funky there. If you got this goes back too far, it'll stick. Close, uh, open, not closed. But it, this is supposed to move. So, and it seems like it does. Oh, I'm gonna put it back together and see what. See, it back together now. I didn't put. I'm getting the air filter off so I can take a look in there. So let's see. Looks like I did it. The linkage got was must have been getting stuck. So thrown out because of a bad gas cap. And uh, you saw what that gas cap cost me. One dollar. Here's the oil. It's to the full mark and it is very clean. You know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get this better focus. 
it's very clean. I went and did a little test mo. I uh, found out that I had to use the original gas cap um, that was on here. Uh, otherwise, it would just it would leak because the gas was uh, you know it would just leak at it right from right from around here around the gas cap. And so knowing that this one doesn't really vent right, this doesn't vent. I uh, looked in under I looked underneath the um, shroud here, uh, and I've got this bungee cord over because I'm painting the, the deck over by where the side discharge is because uh, the paint came off. But there is a um, a vent tube that goes that comes out underneath here and goes under here, and then there's like um, right about here there's this. Um, filter and a, and a vent tube that goes into into the uh, gas tank so uh, and then there's another piece uh, that goes down into um, the carburetor actually which is weird which is this one right here that goes in that comes out of the gas tank into the carburetor but that's not the fuel this is the fuel line so I'm thinking that there the uh, choke is vacuum um, vacuum activated so when the and um, I'm painting it right now. You see over here, uh, just making it look better. And I restyled it by taking all the hubcaps off. Looks a lot better like this, doesn't it? Pate, Jason Pate would like this. Uh, we're at Pate's performance. Say hi. Hi, Patrick, Jason. Good tip on the wheels. So, um, in this, in I don't have to change the oil. It's clean. And let me give you a. Uh, a little bit of a uh, show you what I'm talking about with that the, uh, the uh, venting for the okay. gas tank. What you see in here is okay. The gas tanks back here. We've got these tubes come out. Um, they go into this thing. Okay, this I believe is a vent for the gas tank. There's a filter here. This thing you can pop off. I popped it off, clean the filter, and you know spray carb spray into it and. I, this is what I suspect it is. And then this one here goes into the choke or into the carburetor. So it's, I believe it's a vacuum activated choke. And this thing just sits up here. So if, if you've got one of these craftsmen and your gas, your, your, it moves for about 10 minutes and then stops because it's your gas tank isn't venting, um, take this out and clean it see if that works so, so far it seemed to have worked for me um, so it wasn't it, I proved that it, there was a cap problem uh, when I put the Briggs on it but it didn't it would run on choke only it wouldn't activate the choke uh, I mean it wouldn't turn off the choke so I'm gonna put this back in here after I clean this out and uh, see how it is I'm gonna use it a few more times hey, this is uh, well, I'll continue now this is the next day I had um, I couldn't, I had to make a stop point. I had, uh, where, I, where I left this, I painted uh, this area, and I have to go, I'm going to have to go get some more paint, because I don't have any more that matches. Um, but I think I have just enough. Um, and I'm going to do another um, test, of the uh, gas cap test again. Um, I think I have uh, fixed it, uh, since I have... Uh, I, uh, there's like um, a charcoal filter for venting or something over here since I um, I think I cleared it out and maybe it drains now maybe it, it vents properly now so. so I'm gonna repeat the same test I did before to uh, test the gas cap and we'll go from there I've got my uh, extra fuel line on oh and I'm gonna see if it's, this is gonna drain Okay, hang on. I think it is. Here's my empty Folgers container. Now just going to uh, angle Okay, now it, it, it stopped, but um, that's because I got this thing on a tilt. You're not supposed to do that. So for this, well, I'm gonna put it down.
and again, it stopped draining. Huh. Let me uh, take the cap off. Took the cap off and it drains. Tighten the cap, it stops draining. The cap's bad. As I showed earlier, the Briggs cap would leak. So I think what I'm going to do is either get a new cap or just for the heck of it, drill a small little hole in the top of this one. Okay, I'm just going to separate this. This gas tank, I, you know, I have cleaned this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, in here. I don't know if you can see this, let me get a better uh, better angle here. In that, in here, I'm gonna drill a small little hole so this, the gas will vent. I have drilled. Right, you see this? Drilled a little hole right there you probably can't see it in the center it co corresponds to there and now I'm just going to put it back together it is covered with that with this cap so it, the water probably won't be able to get into it unless it, this thing's submerged or something so hopefully that'll help, help it drain let me put it back together okay. put the gas tap back on let me uh, go ahead and do this test again It's flowing real good. So uh, I think that fixed it. Just drill that hole. The Briggs cap did work. It just said it, it, it would leak because it wasn't intended for this. So looks like I just had to use that, uh, that drill. And the drill bit I used was a 1 16th. That's the smallest I had. I won't bore you with draining here, but now let's see how this thing it, uh, this ring runs. Tubes. This will be the final look and start of this Craftsman that I got off of Curb Alert. This is a front wheel drive self-propelled, didn't get a bag. Has a Craftsman engine, which is um, code word for Chinese copy of a, of a Honda, which is, really looks like a, a clone of a clone of a color. Um, it did run. The problem, the complaint was that, the st well, what was on the, uh, the tag for the free sign was that it would run for 10 minutes approximately and then stop. That is indicative of a um, gas cap ventilation problem where you get basically a vapor lock and it starves it out of fuel. Uh, I went through it, sharpened the blade. Uh, oil is fine. Air filter is brand new. Uh, I really used this to mow a yard. It seemed, it seemed okay. I did have to replace uh, one of these bolts on the, up here because it was missing. Uh, and I uh, touched up painted some places where the paint was missing and took the uh, wheel covers off because it looks better this way. So here's a final looking start. Next time, tubes. See you later.